Hello, my name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to one of my wonderful Game Maker tutorials. Today we're going to be learning how to do a simple platform game. Just the main engine of it, nothing special. But uh, I remember when I first started doing Game Maker, I, I tried this and I tried many different things and I could never figure it out until my friend showed me. And now I'm going to try to be that friend and I'm going to show you how to make a platform game. And I hope you'll love it. And I hope you learn something new. So first what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to import some resources. I just drew some sprites that I made previously. You're going to want a sprite of your guy. Him walking, it doesn't matter how long it is. But I would I would say make sure the first image is of him just standing still. And then make a sprite of a wall. And you can see my guy is very simple and I've got a hint if you're gonna be drawing graphics that are extremely simple make the border kind of extra wide like the border of the guy and the graphics automatically look like they're intended to be simple and it'll look really great so first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna create an object and this object is going to be our wall call it object underscore wall <coughs> Now we're going to assign this sprite to it, and we're going to make it solid. So now when the guy collides with it, then he'll jump back to his original location before he hit the, hit the wall, and then, and then he'll run the event, the uh, collision event. We're not quite there yet, but we will be soon. Now this is going to be our object guy. You can call him object character. I just, for me, guy is much quicker, and that's what I like to do. Uh, we're going to add a step event. And we're going to add an if statement. If there's a collision relative to 1, make sure you have relative checked, and y is positive 1, there's a solid, then it will set the gravity to 0. And I do direction 270 because 270 is down because 0 is right, 90 is up, left is 180, and 270 is down. Um, you don't have to technically type in the direction here, but I like to just in case sometime in my code I change the value of the gravity without using this drag and drop icon, then it doesn't mess up any directions. Uh, technically we don't need this. And we're going to add another one else set the gravity direction 270 to 1. You can also do 0.5 which will make it a little bit less intense and we'll just check OK. Now we're going to add the collision. When you collide with the wall then set vertical speed to 0. It's that simple. You could also add this first. Uh, direction direction maximum speed. That's what I like to do. Often people will have errors with their games. They'll make their object collide with something and then he'll suddenly shoot to the bottom of the map and it just looks like a mess. If you do the maximum to speed then the farthest you'll go is how fast you're going which is very handy. You're gonna want this above your your uh, setting vertical speed so that he still has a direction before you you change the <coughs> before you alter any of his motion. Now we're gonna add some movement. Keyboard left. I know I'm kinda rushing but my last tutorial I tried recording it and it was just far too long and so this one I'm gonna try to keep really short. Add keyboard left if there is not a solid relative, make sure you have a relative checked, relative to negative 4 then we're going to jump relative negative 4. Now we'll just duplicate this. Do the same thing for right. Make this positive 4. And make this positive 4. Now we're going to add a jumping event. We're going to do key press rather than keyboard. So only right when you press the key down, then this event will be triggered. 
and then it doesn't matter how long you hold it, only right when it's being pressed, right when it gets pressed, then it calls the event. We're going to set this to up, and we're going to check to make sure that there's a solid below your guy. So now, you can only jump if there's a solid below your character, then it'll do this here. Now we'll set the vertical speed to negative. Negative is up, remember that. We're going to set it to negative 10. <clears throat> so now, if there is an object below your character, then he can jump. And this will work. So far we don't have any sprite changes, so I'll just I'll just quickly toss in a toss in something. Just give me a sec. That you don't need to know. It's just a little side thing for that I like to use for testing. <clears throat> I'm just gonna quickly build a room here to show you what we have so far. Okay, let's see what what happens. Hope this works. Ooh, is that nice or what? <clears throat> Very smooth. Shouldn't get any errors. No glitches. The way I've coded it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make him animate to make it look like he's walking whenever you move. When you press left if he can move, set the variable image speed to point two. And um, what this will do, point two, is it takes this animation and it slows it down to fairly slow so that it looks a little bit more like running and a little bit less like like he's just spazzing across the ground. Now we're going to also copy this and put it in here. Do that same thing. And you're going to want key releases now. Set variable image speed to zero. Duplicate that. Key release right to zero. And you can duplicate just by right clicking. Click duplicate. So that should make our character animate. Now what you're going to also want to do is you're going to want him to turn. So you'll go like this. Image underscore x scale negative 1. And this works for the for the light version as well, which I never found out until like a year ago. And wow, I'm surprised. Because I know so much code and I... I never knew that. I always thought that was for the pro version. And I have the pro version, so it never it never altered any of my games. But I just whenever I tried teaching other people I would never tell them about this. Anyways. I'm gonna just toss this in here and make this positive one. And now Ooh, actually what I wanna do here is I also wanna set the image index to zero because now what will happen is you might stop in the middle of a frame and then his legs will be sticking out and then he'll just stop and then the animation will stop but you want it to go back to the beginning of the animation where he's standing still so now if we run this <clears throat> oh that looks good now problem is he's still running in the air now there are a few ways you could fix that I could I could fix it now but I won't today I'll I'll try coming up with new tutorials and and uh, I hope you learned something today hope this helped you and I hope you can make awesome platform games in the future <clears throat> this is Cameron Penner and I'm out